Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my study plan on studying for the NCLEX. So the first thing you'll need is college ruled notebook paper, two highlighters and four pens, all a different color, and a calendar or computer, which will be explained later on. You're going to use the black pen first, and on the top of the paper, you're going to write NCLEX study plan. If you're using a resource that has a quiz bank, you want to make sure that you write down the total number of questions you have to get through. I used UWorld, and there were 2,183 questions. So you're going to start writing out the months that you plan to study. Use your calendar, your planner, or your computer to look up or Google the month that you're going to start. and you'll just write out all the months that you plan to study up into your test date. My test date was in the beginning of May, so I'm gonna write out all of April and then all of May as well. And this is how it should look. So next you want to use your highlighters and your pens and we're going to make a study key. The study key is going to let you know what the colors represent. Yellow is from my NCLEX test date. Red was for the days that I did UWorld. Orange was for the days when I listened to the Mark Clement lectures or when I reviewed those notes. Pink represented the day that I had chosen to take my NCLEX self-assessment on UWorld. And green was for those days that I decided I didn't want to do any questions and I would just be reviewing UL rationales. When you're making a study plan for the NCLEX, you want to set yourself some major goals. My goals were to do 75 questions a day and if I chose not to do questions, then I would review rationales. And under my goals, I also wrote down the sources that I'd be using to study for the NCLEX, which included UWorld and Mark Clement. Also just stated that I would be using my UWorld rationales that I wrote, the diagrams that I drew, and side notes that I made as well. So after you finish your study goals, this is how your front page of your study plan should look. The other side of the page is where you're going to be writing down how you studied, did you do questions per day, or did you did you study your rationale, or do you use other resources like the Mark Holmack lectures. The first thing that you should do that I forgot to do initially while I was recording is to mark down your test date. That's the most important thing to do on your study plan. So every time you study, you mark the date with a color based off the study plan key. And then on the back, you summarize how you studied by writing the date and what you did. So on the 9th, I used UWorld to study for NCLEX and I did 75 questions. So I marked the 9th red and I wrote on the back 75 questions. Then on the next day, I also used UWorld and I did 50 questions that day. And so I wrote that on the back. And then I'm just continuing on and trying to fill out March. I would recommend that you fill out your study plan at the end of the day because you might do questions in the morning and then at noon decide to do a little bit of rationale reading and then maybe do like 10 more questions at the end of your day. So you just want to make sure that you're documenting um, all the questions you do and even write down rationales that you do. Like on the 19th of March, I did rationales that day and I literally did only one question on UWorld. world. I guess I was not having it. I didn't want to study. <laughs> I didn't want to study questions. So I just did those rationales and marked it green. So I just continued to fill out this paper every day that I studied for the NCLEX throughout the months of March, April, and May. On the first weekend of May, I decided that I wanted to do my self-assessment on UWorld on the 4th, which was three days before my NCLEX test date on the 7th, and I marked that on my study plan as pink. And that is basically how I made my study plan for the NCLEX, you guys. I feel like there's just so much more meaning in making your own study plan from scratch rather than using a pre-made 
calendar because you put your time into doing it so you're going to put your time into actually filling it out which will keep you focused on your goal and studying for NCLEX. So this is basically how my original study plan looked like. Now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the notes that I studied. I was lucky enough to get a copy of the whole yellow book from a friend who attended the Markhomak lectures. And so what I did was I just listened to the lectures that were uploaded on YouTube and I took my own notes on the side. These are my diagram pictures that I drew out from UWorld. I like to draw things out because it makes me remember things and so I drew anything that I missed frequently. Alright, and that is basically it. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Hopefully it helps you in making a study plan for the NCLEX. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Till next time, bye!